Ah, good morning. Happy pandemic, everybody, okay? Hope you guys, uh, it's important to wash your hands and whatnot, too, but also you just don't want to share air with other people because the primary way that this virus is spreading is not through uh, not washing your hands and not washing your ass. It's actually from just breathing in minute viral particles that are held aloft in the air for uh, sometimes upwards of three or four hours, okay? Anytime you look in a window, you see that sunlight coming through. You know, you're indoors, sunlight coming through the window. You look in the beam of sunlight, you see all those dust particles. Those are aerosols aerosolized viral particles are what you breathe in and that's how you infect yourself so wash your hands all you want but you really just don't want to share air with other people anyway beautiful morning here in uh, the sonoran desert you could see uh, this plant blooming all around me it's it's so pungent i could smell it so well it smells absolutely amazing now it's a common plant everybody knows this at least if you spend any time in uh in arizona or uh you know, Southern California, Eastern California, etc. It's Zincelia farinosa, and of course, it's a member of the sunflower family. You know, and it's uh, it's so ubiquitous; it's easy to take for granted. But it is such a lovely plant. You'll frequently see it growing on the sides of like I-10, I-8. You know, they they like to grow on the margins of the road because that's where they they collect the most water. You know, in a form of runoff from the sparse rains. Uh, you know, and and uh, you get a lot more get a lot more moisture going on the edge of a road than you do out in the middle of a of a desert so you'll see these just lines of these all blooming in the spring just lines that he's just flanking either side of the freeway going off very beautiful plant Encilia farinosa aka the brittle bush genus Encilia has quite a few species in it upwards of 16 or 17 all throughout the american southwest on into baja mexico got two very rare species down in a uh, in baja in baja california sir you could see each uh, peduncle has quite a few flowers on it and it's a diagnostic factor because some of the other species uh, you know in see actonii see your protestants uh actonii for sure uh, only have one flower per peduncle so instead of this having you know six flowers attached to it it would just have one you see a revenii real rare one beautiful white uh, white rays to it same thing one single flower per peduncle and you can see they get just massive up here and if you go down here and look at the branches okay you'll see they got a little bit of uh resin see that yellow shit coming off looks like someone blew their nose or like a little bit of snot dripped on the side of that stem you burn that stuff or you even just touch it it smells absolutely fantastic and uh, you know i supposedly you know the spanish missionaries when they were going about their campaign of a uh, genocide and forced religious conversion they would burn that and uh and it they use it as incense i guess but uh you don't even need to think about those wacky bastards you know just uh just pull a little bit off you're not hurting the plant if you pull that off as long as you don't break the stem and just uh, try burning it or even just rubbing it on your fingers it smells absolutely delightful flowers of course you know like any member of this family you got to flip them but don't just look at the rays you got to flip it over Look at those phyleries, which again are diagnostic. You can see that the phyleries recurve a little bit. Just little, they look like little spikes, you know, in quite a few series, lateral series, about three lateral series right there. Heads are composed of upwards of 100 individual florets, okay? Remember, this is a capitulum. It's a compound uh, flower. It's a compound flower head, okay? Just like uh, most, uh, you know, every flower in the, in the Asteraceae, it's a capitulum, capitula being out of plural form. And uh, just just a fantastic goddamn plant. Of course, the leaves are covered in tiny hairs, you know, to minimize uh, tiny hairs and glands to keep that leaf temperature down when it's 110 degrees out here. Now, these will go, sometimes they'll go dormant in the summer, drop a lot of their leaves, just look half dead, but they come right back, sprout back from the, from the stems uh, once the rains return in the uh in the winter sometimes you get rains in the summer too the further east you go if you're in arizona or something you get those summer monsoons they'll be leafing out too all just depends the mojave we don't get too much summer rain another member of the family down here canactus another aster over there you got a rafineski a member of the chicory tribe is indicated by those five teeth and the ligules aka the rays see five teeth five distinct teeth on every one Raffinesque, and named after some French bastard named Raffinesque. The smell here is incredible. Just wanted to share it with you guys, okay? Because, you know, I know times get a little tough. They get a little trying. World's going to shit, you know? But uh, you got a jackass at the helm. 
okay we're kind of going over the cliff the cliff uh, Thelma and Louise style okay but I want to be the Thelma to your Louise so hold your hand as we're plummeting down you know at a rate of about I don't know 130 feet per second okay just keep just keep in mind there's all this other stuff out here it's beautiful it's fucking lovely okay maybe quell your homicidal thoughts for a minute you know take you away from your own ego okay breathe oh yeah now you don't want to kill somebody you don't want to throw a brick at your boss okay you don't want to go uh, vandalize the bank though it never hurts anyway i'll leave you with that for now okay bye okay one more thing and just think of this don't think of this as me being a jackass and forgetting to mention something in that first clip just think of it as, a, as an encore okay just think of it as me uh, uh you know or maybe it's a form of protest i don't want to leave so i'm just gonna you know stay here and continue to annoy you but i did want to mention geology here is very interesting this is of course not solid rock it's just a succession of uh, alluvial sediments all compacted nice you could see you got the, a mixture of uh, different the rock types and rock sizes all uh, cemented together in that wall right there and again it's just from you know successional uh, flood after flood not actually flood i guess it's a flash flood because the water just runs right off since we're in the desert and there's no plant life to really no uh plant life that's significantly large enough to hold it and prevent all the rocks from erosion, eroding off those hills up there. You can see there's a spill off right there. Just think of it as a, uh, like I said, I guess flash flood, but more so just the, you know, the the action of, of runoffs from uh, what are probably very brief rains, you know, lasting no more than an hour, if that, just uh, moving all this stuff slowly downhill. And so as this stuff gets moved slowly downhill, uh, you know, it, it, obviously the rocks get deposited there. And then, uh, you know, who knows, maybe another year, two years, three years, four years, another uh, rain comes that's large enough to move more material on top of that. And slowly, it just all uh, compacts and cements together. And uh, and uh, and who knows when this was all laid down. Maybe, I don't know, it could be 1,000, 2,000 years ago. Okay? And so that forms its own kind of... Uh, alluvial deposit as you would call it and then again eventually that gets that itself gets cut into as you can see from uh, the action of more uh, more uh, rains and flash floods that just uh, just cut into it again depositing more material eventually this will all be overlain with another layer and another layer and another layer and another layer long after we're all dead and uh, you know you just kind of it's just it's fascinating to see you know so who knows where uh, the source rock came from who knows how far this individual rock traveled from its original source way up on top of that mountain Okay Just something to think about when you're out here. You're out fucking around, you know, maybe you're driving your go-kart uh, Maybe you're out here shooting guns blowing shit up. I don't know. Okay, and, I, and I'm all for those activities But maybe you want to do it somewhere else not in a nice spot where there's all this beautiful stuff going off, you know Maybe you want to take it to an abandoned lot in the city. I'm just kidding. I would never, uh, I would never uh, insinuate some uh, kind of illegal activity like that. I just, you know, I'm just all for preserving this this innate beauty instead of tearing it up and shit, which seem to be primarily American activities. Since a lot of people, uh, no offense, uh, don't really uh, have any other mindset about what to do with this. They're just kind of simple things. They just see a bunch of open space and want to blow shit up, whatever. And it's fine, but just uh, pick your pick your spots wisely, you know? Not here. Okay, now I'm going for real this time. Go fuck yourself. Bye.